Today, I am going to be showing you guys my brand new Joel Embiid build on NBA 2K23. Now, it only felt right that I had to make this build because he is more than likely about to win his first ever MVP. And since I love playing on my center builds, I love playing on my post scores, I felt like I had to make this build. And I had to get it to you guys. This build was highly requested. But with all of that out of the way, let's get into the build, man. Let's go. All right, so starting off with making this build, you're going to want to make it at the center position. That is the position that Joel Embiid plays. So that's the one we're going to use. So now when it comes to the body settings, we're going to go with the height of 7 foot weight, 237 pounds with a 7 foot 9 wingspan and a solid body shape. All right, so starting off with the finishing, we have to take a look at the close shot. We're getting an 85 close shot, which is going to get you gold fast twitch, gold masher, gold fearless finisher. And overall, you're just going to be a really good finisher in the paint with having a high close shot. And it's also going to help you hit more post hooks because you're also going to have access to Hall of Fame Pro Touch on this build. Now moving on to the driving dunk and the standing dunk, they are both going to be at an 80 that 80 driving dunk is going to get you access to silver limitless takeoff as well as some really nice dunk packages that activate limitless takeoff which include quick drops off one as well as straight arm tomahawks then moving back to that 80 standing dunk that's going to be enough to get you the basic big man contact dunks on this build and lastly the post control which was very important to get on this build is going to be an 87 that 87 post control is going to get you every single post scoring badge on hall of fame which was absolutely necessary on a joel mb build now let's take a look at some of these finishing highlights these highlights are going to be a mixture of 1v1 courts in the theater as well as some rec gameplay now i'm not gonna lie to you guys this build was pretty toxic on the one and not only that but it was really dominant in the rec center being able to have that hall of fame drop stepper which by the way this is the first time i've ever used this badge all year not gonna lie to you it's it's pretty good especially when you have it on hall of fame and you're going up against smaller opponents they're just not going to be able to get a stop in the paint on you as long as you don't go up with super contested shots around the rim now you guys have pretty much seen everything already we can hit them with the drop steps the post spins the post hooks we can mash in the paint we have a high enough close shot and a high enough standing dunk to do all of those things and this build overall is just going to be a really fun and dominant center to play on you can use this as a pnr center you can roll on the slip and then if you get that mismatch you can start taking advantage of that smaller guard in the post or if it ends up being a lock regardless if they don't have high interior they're not getting stops on you but even when you don't have the mismatch and you're still just backing down other centers it's still low-key looking like barbecue chicken down there i'm not gonna lie and look at that right there look at the contested post hooks that you can hit with this build all right so now let's move on to the shooting on the shooting you're going to get an 82 three-pointer which is going to get you access to badges like midi magician as well as space creator on hall of fame which are definitely very important post scoring badges and then secondly you're going to have a 76 three-point shot which will get you access to gold claymore which will help you become more of a knockdown shooter at the three-point line now let's take a look at some of these shooting highlights again you're going to be a knockdown shooter from the three-point line and then when you're in the post you have access Access to be able to take and make every single move imaginable you can have access to your post phase your post hop shots you can even take it into the mid-range area and start hitting some dribble pull-ups midi fades midi step backs like everything's going to be at your disposal look at this right here top of the key wide open three and we green that shot man i ain't gonna lie to you that would piss me off if i'm going up against a post score that's dropped 18 points in the paint and then hits a three at the top of the key that would that would that would mentally break me i'm not gonna lie to you i can't handle that type of bullshit but I'm not going to lie to you, being able to be so dominant in the paint, being able to be so dominant in the post, and then being able to have a little bit of a finesse game to it as well, hitting the fades, the shimmy fades, the hop shots, everything that I've already listed, it's going to make this build even more dominant, especially with the takeover that we are using on this build. We're using post-scoring takeover, but we're using a specific version of the post-scoring takeover that I will show at the end of this video that helps me make all of these crazy shots that you see right here. But we'll talk about that later on in this video, but now let's take a look at the playmaking capabilities of this build let's go all right so now taking a look at the playmaking we're going to get a 76 pass accuracy which is very important that's going to get us break starter on gold as well as the lebron james passing style now as you guys know every single build that i use when i make a center build is usually going to have that 76 pass accuracy which is my go-to and you can actually play make really well with having that high of a pass accuracy rating as you can see right here we are launching these passes down the court with that gold break starter allowing us to get some easy transition point and honestly when people are making good good center builds i would never recommend less than a 76 pass accuracy because i feel like that gold break starter is such an important aspect of being able to just launch the ball up the court 
and being able to get easy transition buckets there's nothing better than that and obviously you can go higher you can go 86 get that hall of fame break starter but i think gold is that perfect sweet spot and it helps you meet a threshold which will allow you to get good passes up the court so now let's talk about the final thing on this build which is going to be the defense you're going to get an 88 interior defense which will get you post move lockdown on gold then you're going to have a 54 perimeter defense a 61 steel an 88 block which is going to get you access to silver anchor as well as hall of fame chase down artists and then when it comes to the rebounding you're going to get a 70 offensive rebound and a 94 defensive rebound which will get you rebound chaser on gold as well as box out beast on hall of fame now i don't have too many clips of this build on defense yet but just to showcase the abilities really quickly there's a little bit of a look at that high interior defense getting us stops in the paint and then not only that but again we still have that silver anchor which allows us to come out of nowhere and get crazy blocks now let's take a look at this build fully maxed out you're going to get 20 finishing 20 shooting 9 playmaking and 25 defensive badges the physicals on this build are very solid as well we're going to get a 70 speed 61 acceleration and 86 strength a 75 vertical and a 90 stamina that 86 strength is going to be essential because that is going to get us brick wall on gold which will help us set big body screens when we're in the pnr and having that high strength is also going to be really nice for us in the post when we're trying to back down our opponents but yeah no overall i think this build is the closest thing possible to making an accurate joel Embiid build in nba 2k23 next gen and man it was a lot of fun to play on too but let's take a look at the takeovers really quickly so now let's take a look at the takeover options you get on this build you have access to sharp shooting rim protecting glass cleaning as well as post scoring takeovers on this build i ended up doubling up on post shot daggers those two takeovers on a post score are my absolute favorite and i think they're the best takeovers for a post score in this game obviously you don't have to double up on it you can go one post shot daggers and the second one go box out wall secondary you can go sharp take it does not really matter a whole lot you can go rim take secondary again it's up to you but since i'm on a post score i definitely wanted to go with post shot daggers as the primary so now this build is complete and you're going to get the player comparisons of Marcus Camby, Yusuf Nurkic, and Walker Kessler. And you're going to get the build name two-way inside the arc score. Now listen, if you guys have made it this far into the video, comment Embiid down below. It was a lot of fun playing on this build. It was a lot of fun making this build. And this build also reminds me a little bit of Hakeem Olajuwon. So don't be surprised if a couple weeks from now we're doing a Hakeem Olajuwon build video as well because this build is very similar to that. Now just a couple things I want to talk about really quickly before I end this video. We recently just hit 15,000 subscribers and I'm really excited that we just hit that. I mean, it, it's been a crazy year. We started off the beginning of 2K23 with 3,000 subscribers and we're now at 15k we've been making crazy videos back to back to back we've had multiple videos at 100k and that wouldn't be possible without you guys without you guys showing love and support showing up to the streams and all that hell we peaked at 170 people on easter yesterday it was just it's just been crazy so i love y'all for real i'm out peace